Karibu sana. Karibu sana Your Excellency. Here it's a partnership between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Diaspora and the Ministry of Labor. It's about Kazi Maju. We're also cutting the middleman. So what we've come up with a platform whereby Kenyans can go online and look for job opportunities all over the world. So we'll be posting a lot of opportunities from different countries. You go in there, you, are, you find a section where you can put in your details. It connects you to agents who are recruiting people from different parts of the world or even from this country. You are able to also be able to get a skill assessment done so you can look at the different opportunities and we connect you directly to the employer. It goes all the way until you leave the country with even a, a stamp that allows you to leave the country that you may Migration has cleared you that you are going to a job that is known. It will also be able to track the remittances and how your life is continuing overseas. So, itakuwa ni kama kazi chap chap. Hakuna mamba kungojia kutafutua kazi na mtu. You log in, you get your job, and you'll be feeding the, the jobs here and cutting out scrupulous uh, and scrupulous agents. So, if an agent is not listed in this system, you don't trust them. Kenya government itself, the Ministry of Diaspora, will also become agents. We are forming teams that will be going out in the crowd, different parts of the world, looking for jobs and uh, uploading them so that Kenyans can also apply for those jobs that have been sought out by the Kenyan government. I'm going to give the Minister of Labor to say a few words. And we've got a champion, uh, Judy Chepchichiru, who has been able to send over 7,000 people overseas. And we've got a young man called Zablon who today wants to apply and look for a job immediately and get posted so that he can leave the country in a month and go look for opportunities overseas. Your Excellency. Kazi Maju. So Kenyans need to be ready to apply. Two questions, uh, Waziri. Yes, sir. Um, I asked you and your colleague in uh, Ministry of Labor to work on bilateral labor agreements so that we can have a framework where Kenyans uh, access the jobs in a manner that nobody takes advantage of them. We negotiate ahead of time. We know how they are going to stay. How far are we on the matter of bilateral labor agreements? Question number one, because that's the correct framework for us to do it. Number two, you know the intention of this government is to make sure that we take our remittances from 400 billion to a trillion. Beyond. A trillion is our mark. How many jobs is the target for the next five years? How many Kenyans do we want to export as labor to other countries? What is the target? Thank you, Your Excellency. The first one about bilateral labor, and I'll let my colleague also answer some of the questions. I don't want to hog the microphone. Um, as the Minister of Foreign Affairs, we make sure that first we have bilateral agreements, frameworks with different countries. For example, in Australia, they are looking for people as low, not as low, but people who don't even need to have a lot of skills. Uh, you can go there with a bit of skill as a barrister, you can go there as a little skill, uh, as a sweeper, and all that and they are importing them from Europe. Kenyans can't go there because we don't have a bilateral framework, so we can't even sign a bilateral labor agreement. So we are trying to get bilateral frameworks with as many countries as possible. The Ministry of Labor then comes in and initiates bilateral uh, labor agreements, and she'll be able to tell you how far we are. We have signed quite a bit, and we're working on the others. I will let Judy, uh, also answer the question on the issue of the numbers, because we've been dealing with that so that at least somebody gets a chance to say something also. Thank you, Your Excellency. Um, we work with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is an integrated system. Uh, we call it Diaspora Labor Integrated System. On this system, we have everyone here. We have the job seeker, we have the recruitment agencies, and uh, as a ministry, we do the bilateral labor agreements. We've already done with the Gulf regions. Uh, we, we already had for domestic workers, but now we want to review to have the other skills brought on board so that we are able to export everyone, not just the domestic workers. So we've done with the Gulf region. We are 
about to do with Germany, we are about to do with Canada, and um, we'll be good to go. Okay, do you, have a, do you have time? How much time do we give you for the other? Because already we had conversation with the German government, yes. and they asked us that they want 250,000 workers. Yes. Uh, we have close to 100,000 workers going every year to uh, Canada from all over the world. True. A, a, a part of that should come from Kenya. Mm -hmm. We have the same thing in South Korea. You remember we were in South Korea. Yes. We have the same thing in the US. Mm -hmm. We have the same thing in Australia. We have the whole of the Gulf region. Mm -hmm. So, and I want you to speak to the fact that the only reason why we have all these problems with the domestic workers is because that was the only labor agreement we had. True. We have, we have more people in Kenya with better skills, with more skills than dom domestic workers. True, Your Excellency. But we didn't uh, provide for a, 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 a the framework. The other skills. The other skills. Yes. What are you doing to make sure that the other skills are included in, in that exercise? PS has been working on the bilateral labor agreements with the other technical teams from the other countries. Let him Please, speak about PS. It. That is correct. Thank you very much, sir. In the recent past, we have moved towards uh, professional and uh, skilled cadres. We have sent out 10 BLS. Bilateral labor, yeah, bilateral labor agreements to different countries, including Poland, Australia. We, next week we have a meeting with German. We already sent them a proposal in the form of a BLA. There is a meeting between Waziri and Canada next week, the Canadian High Commissioner on the Canadian jobs. So we are making progress on that front. We need on average three to six months to negotiate and to conclude all these BLAs that are already in those countries. Sir. Okay. Jobs, how many, what is the target? How many jobs are we, are, we, are we targeting? At the moment, we can, per month, we'll be doing about 25,000. But if we ensure that the BLS in those countries go through, then we'll be able to get about 800,000. Yes. Can I take it from you, Waziri, the two ministers and your teams, that uh, by the end of this year, we must conclude the bilateral labor frameworks and the bilateral labor agreements so that we can open the opportunity for the millions of young people in Kenya today who have different skills out of college, out of school, out of university to access digital jobs that are available globally. Can we, can, can I get an undertaking from you? Yes, that? Sir, I give you an undertaking that by December this year it's going to be a different playing field. And it's not just about, uh, we have to provide opportunities for people to find the jobs. We're also doing a bit of training because they are competing with other nations, Philippines and others, for people to be able to qualify for the jobs and able to, uh, to compete with others and get the employment. But also with the bilateral agreements is also to get good packages. For example, you find in some countries, if your passport is from a European country, you get, let's say, for example, 100,000 shillings. But if your passport is Kenyan, even though you're doing more work than the person, same qualifications, you're getting 30,000 shillings. So we are trying also to get an equity for our people so their rights are also not abused in that way. But I give you an undertaking, Your Excellency, that by the end of this year, we'll be looking at those numbers of an average of about 85,000 people a month being going overseas. Uh, can we listen to Today? somebody from the private sector? Thank you, Your Excellency. Um, for us to be able to grow our remittance to a trillion, we need to look for job opportunities out of the country. And we do have a plan that we've laid down on the strategies on how these jobs, how the projections has to come out so that we achieve. And we gave you a proposal that uh, for the ceiling 2023, 2024, we are looking forward to create a million jobs so that for us to be able to grow our remittance. And we have um, the framework that we've started as agents and we are working with the ministry so that to achieve that.